Mr. Joey Bada Bang. What up? Hey, Joey. Uh, thanks for uh, coming by uh, from sunny Florida. Do you basically, if I get away with using that, uh, Bada Bing will be part of the uh, every That's episode. That's so sweet. Right That's awesome. <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> now, hey, Joey. Um, I actually been I, I I reached out to Joey about a month ago and I told him what I wanted to do and and uh, we finally got together here uh, to do this episode. So uh, and, and when we're recording this, it's a uh, Friday night, eight o'clock here East Coast time. So I uh, instead of hanging out with the ladies tonight, he's hanging out with Pat. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so uh, I, hey, and I I did dress to uh, to honor uh, you know the, the the Florida vibes. The Florida vibes, exactly. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Hey, you know, buddy, where where exactly? Uh, tell the viewers where exactly. What area of Florida are you from? Um, I'm near West Palm Beach, um, near that area. Um, okay. I was born in uh, Fort Lauderdale in Coral Springs, and um, I moved up slowly. Like I moved up towards like West Palm, and then I moved a little. It's a little bit north of West Palm, but nobody will probably know exactly where it's at. But um, okay. But yeah. I mean, everybody always, you know, Miami or Orlando. Right. Um, you know, um, even the background that I got right now is uh, uh, a Miami. Uh, <laughs> like, a, like, uh, like a beach there. house, like yeah. beach house look. Is it, is it, uh, right, is it, is it hot and sunny down there right now? Or is oh, it, my God. It's, I, I'm working every day and I'm dripping, you know, yeah. at work. It's so hot. Um, in the mail truck, it's about like 120 degrees just in the mail truck. That's how hot it is. And that, that, that's what keeps you uh, um, a mailman uh, in, in shape down there in Florida. Yeah, right? man. You got to drink so much. I drink so much water, dude. I, I Before I go to bed, I drink like three cups of water. But when I wake up, I drink three cups of water. And then, and then I go to work and I just guzzle down water all day long just to keep hydrated because you could really get – all seriously right. injured out there with just heat stroke you know yeah so. in case anyone doesn't know joey joey works for also the the u.s postal service mm -hmm. and jo joey why, why don't you tell us i found joey basically uh on another uh channel uh he he popped in the auctions mm -hmm. and we started uh talking and, and joey joey's a, a talker so he likes oh, to yeah. he likes to smooth with the crowd <laughs> oh for sure you know? um so that, that's how we got to meet Joey. And um, what inspired me about Joey is I found out he's a, basically the kid's young enough to be my son. And sure. uh, he has uh, aspirations. You're, you are a reseller? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just started I mean, um, in yeah. January. So T uh, tell me what platforms that you're selling on. Um, I'm just strictly um, on eBay. Okay. Um, only because I'm just so time consumed with just a full time job as being a mailman. And, um, eBay is just perfect for me. I can just list it, get everything going on just one platform. I feel like more platforms would keep me too. Um, like if I sell something on like, let's say Macari and I'm working and I can't really look at my phone while I'm working. If I sell it on another platform, you know, I'm not, I just, it's just too much commotion. I feel like one platform for me is great for right now. Um, and I'm just going to stick to that until I do grow a little bit more, but I'm happy where I'm at right now. I think it's perfect. I have everything lined up exactly how I want it to be. So uh, how's that been going for you? It's been out of this world. Um, basically knowing that I can go to a Goodwill on my lunch break, grab some stuff, bring it home, um, list it. And if I sell something, I bring it to work. So that's the craziest thing, you know, having it packaged up, ready to go. Basically doing all of it in a normal day base. I mean, it's just so easy for me. It's just a routine that I have every day that I've been doing yeah. for the past six months, seven months. So it's been a very good um, thing for me. Now, is is the post office frowning on you at all? Uh, if, if like, hey, Joe, your lunch break's a little bit too long. No, I've actually, I actually set a timer on my phone. Um, I actually have gotten a, in trouble before for staying past <laughs> no. over time, but <laughs> you know, it has to, it's bound to happen. But um, I was actually with a couple buddies. This was before I was doing eBay. Um, we were, we stayed like probably like eleven minutes after, and we weren't even looking at the time. We were just joking around, having a good time, and. Boom, we got caught. So you got to pay attention. So now I set a timer. So I know that I'm good, you know? 
Hey, uh, Joey, real quick, uh, part of uh, this episode that we're doing is we have a little segment that uh, it's called Victoria Wants to Know. So Victoria is <laughs> going to come on here, and she wants to ask you a question. So, okay. All right, ready? Yeah, hey, guys. Sure. So thank you for having me on, Pat. I want to ask your guest a burning question. So here it is. When you um, get sales on eBay, what is the number, like the largest number of sales you've had that you've had to package up in one day? And how long did it take you to, to package them all up? Okay. Um, very good question, Victoria. Um, I actually just had one of my most um, days a couple, I think it was like a couple weeks ago. I had about um, 12 packages go out. And I, um, I haven't been putting out YouTube content in the last, I have been, but it's not to the scale that I want it to be. So I kind of took some days off just to list on eBay. And the more you list, the more you sell. So um, I had 12 packages going out on a Monday, which was really nice. It was between Saturday night and Sunday. And I had 12 things going out, which was awesome. Um, made a pretty good amount of money. I can't, I don't remember exactly like the products that I had that were going out, but it was, um, and it, it takes a little while to package up. Um, like I said, I don't exactly remember, but I kind of have everything planned out where if I, I know exactly where everything is. So I have everything with all my label or not my labels, my packaging, and I have it all close to me. So I, I move fast, you know? So I think it only took me about, cause I wake up early before I do all my packaging before I go to work. So I have everything packaged up probably yeah, what, about what time do you get up to go to the post office job? Um, I have to be in at 8 30 and I'm 30 oh. minutes away from work. So mm -hmm. I planned out I probably woke up at like 6 15 that day to package everything up, get everything ready to go. And I don't even have a Rolo printer yet. So I cut and paste, you know, everything. So I cut oh, all the papers. Oh. Old school. Yeah, man. I Everyone's been yelling at me to go get a Rolo or a Dime. What is it? A Dymo or I, something like that? Yeah, I got a Dynamo. I mean, I've been on eBay since 1998. I just yeah. got a Dynamo last year. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but when you go from, be honest, doing, let's say, 100 packages a year to doing um, 100 a month, you, right. you, you're going you're gonna to need uh, and appreciate the Dynamo or a Rolo printer. Yeah, I mean, it will definitely be a lifesaver to me in the morning because it, it will save me a bunch of time because I'm cutting and pasting like a no tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. so. uh, I mean, unless you have a, a service that all West Palm Beach customers get free delivery. And then, I, then on your route, you just, you know, like <laughs> the kid on the bicycle delivering the newspaper. You right. Yeah, dude, that would be funny. <laughs> so, uh, Joey, uh, what? Bada bing. I mean... <laughs> Every time I think bada bing, I think like the Sopranos. Right. Uh, I mean, am, am I stereotyping? What, no, what? I'm, I actually love it. Um, I'm Italian, as probably everybody knows. Joey bada bing 22. But um, when I was little, I was in the fourth grade, I think. And one of the teachers would always say Joey bada bing all the time. Like, what's up, Joey bada bing? And it just always stuck to me. And that was my nickname ever since. And Is that that because you were hanging out in the corner with the girls or what was going on? <laughs> it might have been. <laughs> oh, dang. oh, dude, I got the, I got the, I rock the silver. I rock silver. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, man, I've had that name ever since. And I've, I have everything customized to Bada Bing. You, you, you can't even describe how many things I have with Bada Bing jerseys, um, hats. You know, I actually have the Bada Bing. I should have worn it today. The, I have the Bada Bing hat with the exclamation point. That's on the Sopranos. I have that hat. So I got that in New York when I went there one day. Oh, okay. Now, I don't know if you know, I live in Pennsylvania. I live about an hour and 15 minutes um, west of New York City. Okay. Yeah. So I, I've, I've been to New York. I, I'm a fan of the Sopranos show myself. <laughs> uh, you know, you, that I think was uh, honestly one of the best shows there ever was. On, For sure. On TV. I mean, Joey, but you're – how old are you, Joey? How, how I'm 23 years old. Okay, so that's where the 22 comes from? No, I – that's actually my mom's birthday, and I, I played baseball my whole life, and um, her birthday is February 22nd. And my favorite number was always two because of Derek Jeter because I'm a big Yankees fan. 
Okay. And um, I thought having my own number and it's my mom's birthday, it kind of just mixed. So I've always, I've always worn, tw- everyone thinks it's my age, but um, just because well, you guys know me from now, but 22 has been my number since I'm little, man. I've oh, always, okay. it's always been a click. Uh, I mean, I mean, maybe we get a a, a a jersey with twenty two, bada bing, you know. Oh, like, I got I got three of them in the in the closet. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, now maybe I'm getting a little personal here. Are you still living at home, Joey? Or are you out on your own? I actually, me and my girl, we just purchased the house. We just bought a house in October. Um, it's almost not almost, but about almost a year now. Oh, and okay. um, we yeah, um, it's been great. Um, me and my girl, we're not married yet. We're not even engaged or anything. Um, I've, she's actually been in my life for a really long time. She was actually my first girlfriend. And, oh. um, so we, we started dating and like, I know it sounds crazy, but like in middle school, she was my first kiss, you know, just all of those nine yards and kind of split apart in high school, did our own thing, grew up and, um, uh, we found our way back together, which is awesome. Cause I've always wanted to be with her. So, oh, that's great. So we have a little bit in common cause I I've been with my uh, wife for, since I'm 16. Wow. That's yeah, awesome. So- been 31 years so wow 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 uh, you know some, someone could put up with us guys that long we, we better keep them right <laughs> right you better stick them around <laughs> um so the, that's that's great uh, you, you're 22 you you have a house already you're you're working for the post office you're doing reselling uh, how of a sudden though i mean to be honest i guess my perception that the post office is a pretty good job i mean what made you get i mean how, uh, into the post office was it a family or you just look uh, you didn't you didn't go to college always played baseball always played video games for baseball you know MOB the show and stuff um, and when I was younger I'd always thought I'd be a baseball player.